about once every other year or so, uh, everybody in St. Louis is going, Jace, he's back. Jace, he's back. <laughs> <laughs> once a year. <laughs> well, it's a like, moving it's target a, is more difficult to hit. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, JC is back. JC is Yay, back with us here. here. He I got some yeah, golf applause there. <laughs> I got three. Me. One, two, three. It's, it's only me. me. Move it's along. <laughs> no loitering. Yes. JC's this back. This place smells doing? like food. I come walking in here. Place smells like food because of the fountain. Down from downstairs. Oh, yeah. Let's hope yeah. it's from yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Good, I had breakfast at the food. at the horse trough on Market. <laughs> not not as good. <laughs> we still get the so, phone calls. Uh, what, what street are you guys on? Yeah. No. No. It's the where is the fountain Locust? That's on Olive, right? What do they tape Saturday Night Live? <laughs> <laughs> so wait a second. Enough about all of this. Let's talk Enough about, about all that. of you Let's because talk about you have Classic Rock uh, 93 one exactly. KBDZ. There yes. You go. Yes. What's the story? Uh, there is no story. <laughs> uh, I was uh, living he, in my basement. He's still there. He's still there. Yeah. After I was, uh, just started oh, hanging around. I got a call yeah. from a guy by the name of Elmo Donzi. Got to be one of the greatest that, names that, in yeah. radio. Elmo That's Donzi. Yeah, great I, want, name. I wanted that name. This guy <laughs> built this radio station from the ground up in 1990. It was not an existing radio station. There was nothing. It was like an empty field. And he got a construction permit from the FCC. What? Started what? building it from nothing. So he's a real radio guy. Literally made Very the thing few from of those nothing. Guy that actually started the point before it was the point, and then oh. sold it off and all that. But I he mean, was he built a tower. He was the original. Wow. He, it was like piece by piece. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so he built the radio station in 1990, but it was like you know 3,700 watts or something like that. Yeah. Just nothing. You couldn't get it outside of Perryville. What and was his intention to do music radio m- talk radio, radio to Perryville? His intention was to uh, rescue me from my basement in Chesterfield <laughs> yeah. and uh, say JC is back. Yeah. So just recently, just recently they cra- they got a. a, a uh, authorization from the FCC to crank to 50,000 watch, 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 <laughs> professional broadcast. That's a hell of a watch. 50,000 watch. 50, watch, yes. watch. <laughs> and, um, and, and so now we're 50,000 watts, and we're getting into about 70% of the St. Louis metropolitan area. Uh, if you go 40 in south, and especially 44 in south, should be able to get it with no trouble whatsoever. And we are now St. Louis's only classic rock station. Yeah, I, I feel like it's like a pirate radio station or something. I mean, it, it's, Well, it's coming in from about 80 miles away. Yeah. And the other nice thing about it is because... You know, all the St. Louis radio stations, the towers are all here. This place, the tower is in Perryville. So not only do you make it to St. Louis, it goes all the way to Cape Girardeau, oh. almost all the way to Evansville, Indiana. And am I blocking you? There are yeah. <laughs> No, but I'm Cameron, thinking, you know, yeah, that's where Rush Limbaugh's yeah. from. So you could do some damage there. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, where does that line form? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, He's yeah, back. I, <laughs> if perchance, if you're one of those people saying, "Well, I can't pick it up. I don't hear 93.1. I don't hear," you can get them online, also, right? It's 2016. You know, people do everything else with their smartphones. So, yeah, so right. why not listen in clean, clear, digital sound on ah, TuneIn, right nice. on the radio station website, or on TuneIn Radio, so tell, or something like that? What's your show? What? <laughs> it's all about the music, Joy. <laughs> It's all about the music. Well, it is, actually, because, you know, I also do a digital show, and that is Which on is my website. Which is talk. Yeah, and that's <laughs> jconthelinecom It costs you a buck a week. Am I not worth a dollar a week? <laughs> Can we talk about Am it? Am I really not worth a dollar a week? <laughs> I to think about that. Oh, the Sharon of the Green. Yeah. But, uh, you know, there's costs involved in all that, so I'm really just doing that. i got to charge that to recoup the costs. But anyhow. And there you have no rules, which is nice. Well, that's nice. You can say... Uh, what well, we can't say here. fiddle dee do and yeah. uh, horse hockey. <laughs> Another thing like begin with F. So, yeah, you can curse on the internet. It's, it's fun. And, um, <laughs> it's fun. Horse hockey yeah. is my favorite. It's fun. That's yes. right. Yeah. <laughs> Colonel Potter. Just curse on the, the internet. So, <laughs> is, there, is there a website? Cursing on the internet dot com. <laughs> there is now. Yeah. yeah. By the way, you got the restaurant downstairs. I, for years, have wanted to uh, uh, start a restaurant. I would like to become a restaurateur. Seriously. You should how, be. how do you do it? You, didn't you get an award from the restaurants of St. Louis once? I did. Yeah, you Restaurant yeah, yeah. Association, St. Louis Restaurant yeah, Association, Person of the Year. Uh, what, what he was the poster mean? child. I don't I mean, even know what that, that means. That was back when he ate a lot. Everybody else <laughs> tied for a second. Uh, I, uh, Which is uh, amazing yeah. for someone who probably never paid for his own meal at a restaurant. <laughs> now you're talking. Radio means free <laughs> this food. Is why you got into radio. I want to open a 24-hour Mexican restaurant called Guac Around the Clock. Oh, no, yeah. come on. Yes. No, come on. Yeah. I'm in. I, I went with that because no, nobody, that's, nobody... That's a fabulous idea. Nobody actually. got my original idea, which was a Mexican <laughs> restaurant called A Taco Lips Now. <laughs> How could they not get got that? It. They didn't get it. Could they not? So I went with guac around the clock. No, actually, right. if that's not a joke, that's a really good idea. Because it's not a joke. You're going to do most of your business at We're 3 We're not here to have fun. <laughs> yes, yeah. darn it. I mean... 
it on the internet. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she said it. So I got the talk show at jconthelion.com, and I got the music show with Classic Rock on the FM at 93.1. Six to nine a.m. I'm to looking to do country one of these days. <laughs> oh. That'd be if I, was, if I was in country radio, I'd probably be on the radio in St. Louis right now. When is your yeah, show That's the only thing left, right? Eddie, that's well, all I think they, they're going to a morning show a year on, on both stations. I got tears I in my ears from laying on my back in my bed while I cry over you. you know? so when why did you believe me when I told country. you that I loved you and you know I've been a liar all my life? And my favorite, <laughs> she criticized my apartment, so I knocked her flat. You know, most <laughs> or, or, or mama don't wait for the oyster boat because papa's coming home with the crabs. <laughs> we have to put these titles yeah, on the screen exactly. as fast as he says them. For the hearing yeah, impaired. Just can't keep them rolling because that's not all you get. But uh, wait, there's more. <laughs> yeah. so wait my minute. wife left with my best friend and I miss him. <laughs> If you want to keep the beer real cold, put Joy. it next to my ex-wife's heart. Don't I en- gave her a ring, and she gave me the finger. Just, you, you encouraged him, all right? I know. So. I walked so, in, and Joy's like, oh, this is a terrible, but I'm going to cry. Make me laugh. Yes. Yeah, that's why I'm doing Boy, all this. Boy, he sure is. So, uh, Tickling his neck. You know, when, when you were, <laughs> when you were first, first on the air here in St. Louis, yes. on Casey, Joy and I were out in L.A., but we would hear the stories. We would get stories all the time about things you were doing, and, and, and smile, and laugh. And uh, sorry that we couldn't actually hear them firsthand. But now, today, with the Internet, we should be yeah. able to do that. Uh, what are some of your favorites, some of your most memorable stories from those years? Well, it doesn't really matter what I think. because no, I no, it does. Can't, so really, no, what did you I like? can't really go anywhere without somebody bringing up the call to Iran. Well, of course. Or when we That's had, the yeah. point. Yeah. Everyone else has their favorites, oh, yeah. and they're never the same that are right, yours. Right. So we what were, are your we favorites? We brutalized poor Arnie Warren, who was Jack Carney's... Uh, replacement on KMOX, and one of our favorite I things... I think you brutalized that, everybody on KMOX. We, you know, they wouldn't let us on the arch grounds during the VP Fair back in the 1980s when I was doing the KC Morning Zoo. They wouldn't let us on the arch grounds. So we got on the Admiral. Now, the Admiral at that time looked like it had just been bombed by something. <laughs> uh-huh. I mean, there was just jagged steel. There were places on the floor where you could look right down and see into the water. But uh, they had the idea. To, they had the idea. Uh, I'm serious. Yeah. And by the way, I stole it the was. bell. I have the admiral's really? bell. Now you still I know. actually have the bell. Wow. I possess it. Next time you bring me in here, I will okay. bring you in. Uh, I'll bring okay. it in. Next, next in, week, in, next in, Tuesday. In, Tuesday. Yes. Yes. Next yes. time we call the warden. <laughs> next time I switch jobs, which will be <laughs> next week. You have me back. Yes. Yes. Hey, back. he's got a new job. But I have that. But uh, So we were on the admiral uh, because we were then not on the arch crowds. But we had like 4,000 people sitting there watching us do the show. So, uh, you know. We sort of got around the whole thing. We were not on the arch grounds. Okay? Yeah. Once again, well, a pirate. <laughs> so now, so now, as we would always do, we do Party Town. Four thousand people are doing Party Town. Yeah, yeah. And at the end of Party Town, the KMOX helicopter buzzes our crowd. Really? And I was like, well, we got to reward them for that. Four thousand people. Say it with me. One, two, three. Eat me, Arnie. And four thousand people like. <laughs> Eat me, Arnie! <laughs> it was like, so those are the sort of things that... Uh, and you know, there is JC's favorite story. I want to ask him a question story. that I've been trying to ask. I'll okay. do this frivolity. Um, what hours are your is your show? On, <laughs> Take a what, guess. What Take a guess. You on? Take a guess. What six language are we speaking six today? To nine. Right. Six to nine? Yeah. If he okay. were six to yeah. ten, he wouldn't be here right now. Okay. Really. And, and the nice thing about it is because I got to drive to Perryville every day. That's insane. So I have a studio in my house, and I just <laughs> come downstairs, and I do the uh, show in my uh, pajamas. Now get this. Joy, How about if you that? go to his internet, but you don't wear your pajamas, uh, you right? If you go to uh, JC on <laughs> JC on the line, it's JC on the line yeah. dot com. You'll see that he has a live show there in, every day, okay. and he also has a live show on the radio at the wow. same time. This is the mystery of radio. Yeah. How does JC been, have two live shows? I've been, I've been talking out of both sides of my mouth <laughs> for, <laughs> for years. many years. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the anyway, magic of radio. It's ninety three point one FM. Classic Rock 93.1 KBDZ. Yep. And uh, it's Perryville, St. Louis now. That's right. Listen to him. Look at our staff announcer here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now Ron I have Stevens. to do that. Yeah. But thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you for coming in. It's always good to see are you. Are we done? Yes. Yeah, we are. It's You're done. Why don't you wipe we go on. You're <laughs> done. Get out of here. <laughs> and thank you to Nighthawk Security for making Joe our Joe Gilbert. <laughs> yeah. Joe, Joe Gilbert put in my security system <laughs> when I lived in Ladue. Hey, what an yeah. endorsement. And he used, to, he, used have a say that he used to have a thing where the glass breaking sensor. Oh, yeah. You know, you could take keys and throw them in a bathtub and that would simulate the sound of glass breaking, at least in terms of what the computer <laughs> right, was but, hearing. You know, yes. it's a combination of a high pitch and a low pitch for it to work. Because when you break a glass window, it also has a very low frequency. And it, the combination of those two makes your alarm go off. 
I tested this. Thank you, <laughs> Professor Backwards. Yeah. Yeah. Call me Mr. Well, Wizard, Well, I know please. another one. Slamming the pots and pans drawer. Yeah, you do That'll that all do the time. It. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and also lets out frustration. Yeah, exactly, which I'm going to go do several times. Hey, how do you get a hold of Joe Gilbert? Uh, you can call Joe Gilbert at Nighthawk Security. Their number is 846. I always 846. thought the Bible lapels also works, too. <laughs> Come here, you. 846-4600. Ask for Joe. 